So good morning class. Today we uh, take our next part of recommendation section that is collaborative filtering recommendation system. So in this collaborative recommendation system, uh, let us consider this uh, condition. Uh, let us consider there is a user X. So yeah, so this is a user X. Okay, and you want to make a set of the users. This is a set of users. Those are similar to the X. Okay, those are similar to this user X. So how you can find out that similarity? So we are taking one uh, concept here. What we are finding out? We are selecting those users whose rating are similar to the rating of X. Okay. So let us consider this is an item. Okay. This is an item, and uh, this item has given a rating four by the user X. Okay. So as he has given the rating four to this item, so all these users are also having the similarity. They are also like this item. Okay, and they are also providing the same rating that is a four. Means that this these users, the set of these n users, okay, are similar to the x user. Right. So this is the similarity we have to consider based on their rating. So based on their rating, we have to find out the similarity of the user. And for that rating consists there are various uh, methods we have to use in today's lecture. That is the first one is called as the Jacquard yard. Jacquard similarity function. So before you understand the Jacquard similarity function, let us consider this uh, uh, scenario. So in this, there is a four users. Let us consider these users are A, B, C, and D. Okay, and these are the movies: Harry Potter one, Harry Potter two, Harry Potter three, um, then the Swadesh one, Swadesh two, and Swadesh three. Okay, and this is a turn window. So these are the few uh, movies, and uh, and the users, respective users, have given their own rating based on their interest of that particular movie. Okay, so let us consider user A is uh, rating four to the Harry Potter one and five to T W C W movie. User B has given the rating five to the Harry Potter one, rating five to the Harry Potter two, rating four to the Harry Potter three. Okay, so according to that, these A, B, C, D, these are the four four uh, users. Okay, and there are one, two, three, so seven movie in our database. Okay, and each user, each user, that is X and Y, those are giving the some rating, and that is the represented by the vector. Okay, so now what is what is by vector? So rating of A, if I am asking the rating of A, so rating of A it can be represented as a vector, and the vector is like the Four, then five and the one. Okay, then the rating B. The rating B is equal to vector five, five and four and so on. Okay, so these are the values given by the respect to user, and that is called the rating of a vector. Okay, now we have to. Find out the Jacquard similarity. So, what is the Jacquard similarity? So, understand the Jacquard similarity function. So, the Jacquard similarity function A and B. So, here we have to find out the similarity between the user A and the user B. Okay. So, how we can be find out mod of rating given by the user A intersection rating given by the uh, user B divided by mod of rating of A union rating of B. Okay. So, now what is what do you mean by that? So let us consider how we can be solved. So rating given by the A. So what are the rating given by the A? That is the four, five, and the one. And the rating given by the B. So what are the rating given by the B? That is the uh, five, five, and the four. But the intersection. So what is the intersection? Intersection means that the common one. So this is the common. That is the four and five. These are the common. Okay. And the union. The union means we are considering the all these uh, uh, remaining. Uh, rating. Okay, so when you solve these problems, you are getting the output, right? Yeah. When you solve these problems, so you are getting the similarity between the user A and user user A and the user B is nothing but one divided by five. So this is the similarity between ratio between the A and B that is one divided by five, and similarity between the A and C. 
the similarity between the A and C is nothing but 2 by 4. Okay, so hence we can say that the similarity of A and B is less than the similarity of A and C. These two users are less similar, means they don't have their common similarity as compared to the these two users that is the A and C are more similar. Why? Because you can say that these are the two movies they watch and they are all like this. Okay, even though the rating are different, but they watch the two movies and they are giving the rating. Okay, so you can uh, simply say that the similarity of A or B is less than the similarity of A and B. Now, so uh, this is a uh, different similarity. Now, the second similarity function called as a cosine similarity. Okay, so this is a second similarity function we can use to find out the uh, similarity between the user and that is called the cosine similarity. So, what is the cosine similarity similarity? So, uh, the, taking the same example, by considering the same example, what I am doing that, in place of this blank value, null value, I am replacing this null value with a 0. So, this is a 0, this is a 0, this is a 0, and this is a 0. Okay. So, instead of keeping the blank value, I am replacing that blank value with a 0, and now I want to find out the similarity between the A and B. So, using the cost cosine similarity. So, the cosine similarity is indicating by the cos rating of A and the rating of B is equal to rating of X into rating of, so let us consider A and B is replaced by X and Y. So, rating of X into rating of Y divided by mod of rating of X into rating of Y. So, when you solve this problem, so you are getting the similarity of A and B is equal to 0 0.38 while the similarity between the A and C is equal to 0 0.32. So, hence we can prove that, so similarity of A and B is greater than the similarity of A and C, but it is not so much. Why? Because there is only the 0 0.06 difference. Okay. So, that is not so countable. Okay. But you have to prove that here the similarity of A and B is greater than the similarity of A and C. Now, how I can, I have find out this similarity function 0 0.38. So, how we can we find out this? So, here, let us consider the same example, okay, I am uh, considering the same data set, uh, there are the 4 users, 1, 2, 3, 4, A, B, C, D and the 7 movies, HP1, HP2, Harry Potter 1, Harry Potter 2, Harry Potter 3, then the uh, uh, Sadish 1, Sadish 2, Sadish 3, okay, all these things. Now, as per the this, cos Rx, here I am taking the cos Ra and the Rb, what is Ra? That is the vector, uh, rating vector of A and the rating vector of B. So, what is the rating vector of A? So, rating vector of A is like this and rating vector of B is nothing but this. Okay. So, what is the formula? Rx into Ry. Okay. So, what is the common is here? That is the 4 and 5. Okay. So, 4 into 5, 4 into 5 divided by under root, under root 4 square plus 5 square plus 1 square. Now, what is the 4 square? You have to take this, you have to take this and you have to take this. These are the uh, vector of rating of user A plus into under root 5 square plus 5 square plus 4 square. 5 square plus 5 square plus 4 square. So, it will go uh, 4 into 5 that is a 20. 20 divided by 20 divided by under root 16 plus 25 plus 1 into 25 plus 25 plus 16. Okay. So, these are the values. Now, 20 divided by root of 42 into root of 66. Okay, so what is the value of root of root of 10, uh, 42? Root of 42 is nothing but 6.48 and root of 66 is nothing but 8.12. Okay, so it is equal to 20 divided by 52.617. 20 divided by 52.617 and it is nothing but 0 0.38. So same thing I am mentioning here 0 0.38. Okay, so the similarity between the A and B is equal to 0 0.38. And when you solve the similarity between the A and C, so you have to considering this value 4, 5, 1 and then 2, 4, 2, 2, 4, 5, okay. And when you solve this problem, so you are getting the 0 0.32, right. So, hence you have to that the similarity between the A and B is greater than the similarity of A and C by using this cosine similarity uh, function. Now, Yes. The take another example by for uh, cosine similarity. 
we are taking the same method that is the cosine similarity. We have to just change the uh, we have to just change the value. Okay, so in here I am taking the different value now. Okay, so here it is called the utility matrix, and in this utility matrix we are providing the rating one to five. Okay, so the movie's name are wrong turn. That is the WT one, WT two, then PM. That is the matrix, the matrix two, and then the Spiderman one and the Spiderman two. Okay, and these are the user A, B, C, D, and these are the respective vector rating vector of user A. This is the respective rating vector of user B. This is the respective rating vector of the user C, and this is the rating vector of the user D. Now, I want to find out the similarity between the A and B. So, how can we find out? So, let us consider the similarity between the A and C is equal to C. So, we are considering these two only. Okay. So, we are considering these rating and the these rating. Okay, because the, these are the vectors. Now, C into five. So, we have to C into five multiply. Five into four multiply five into four divided by three into five multiply five into four divided by under root three square plus five square into five square plus four square plus four square plus five square. Okay, so when you solve this, that is a fifteen plus twenty, fifteen plus twenty divided by fifteen plus twenty divided by under root. Three square that is a nine plus twenty five that is a five square that is a twenty five into twenty five plus sixteen plus sixteen into twenty five. So this is a thirty five divided by root of thirty four multiply root of eighty two. Okay. So when you solve this, that is a thirty five divided by five point eight three one into nine point zero five five. Okay. And equal to 35.35 uh, 35 divided by 52.801. And when you solve this problem, so you are getting the cosine similarity between the A and C is equal to 0.662. While cosine similarity between the A and B is equal to 0.167. Okay. And hence you prove that the similarity between the cosine similarity between the A and C is greater than that is a 0.662. Okay, as compared to the cosine similarity between the A and B, that is only the 0.167. Okay, so hence you say that the these two users are more similar than the user A and B. Okay, so this is the conclusion, and uh, uh, this is the result of cosine similarity. Now we are moving to the third one, that is the centered cosine. This is called the centered cosine. So what is the center cosine? In this center cosine, uh, we are considering the same concept, but here we are subtracting the rho mean. First, we have to find out the rho mean. So what is by the rho mean? What how we can calculate the rho mean? So let us consider this is a vector, uh, rating vector of a that is a four, five and the one. Okay, so we have to make the addition four plus five plus one that is nothing but the ten. Divided by the number of ratings. So how many number of ratings are there? There are the three ratings. Okay. Now the rating uh, then rho mean of the rating vector of B that is of 5 plus 5 plus 4 that is 14 divided by 3. Okay. Then the C is a 2 plus 4 plus 5 that is a 9 plus 2 that is a 11. So you can see that is a level one by three. Okay, and for the D, that is a three plus three, that is a six divided by nine. Sorry, six divided by two. Why? Because there are the only two rating given by the user D. Okay, so these are the values. Uh, these are the uh, normalized rating by subtracting the rho mean. It means that you have to make the addition of that rating. Divided by number of ratings. So this is called the rho mean. Now, in the next step, what you have to do in normalized rating by subtracting the rho mean, you have to subtract the value of rho mean from this rating. Okay. So, so for example, we have 10 by 10, 10 by 3. 
Okay, so this is your 10 by 3. So this 10 by 3 minus 4. So when you come from 4 minus 1 by 10 by 3, so you are getting the 2 by 3. Okay, then 5 minus 10 by 3, you are getting the 5 by 3. Then 1 minus 10 by 3, you are getting the minus 7 by 3. Okay, and so on. So here also you have to find out and uh, uh, row means and then subtract this value with your row means. Now and you are getting the new value. In the next step, you have to use the cos similarity function. So in the cos similarity function, that is a uh, uh, rating vector of A and the rating vector of B. So when you solve the rating vector of A and the rating vector of B, so you are getting the 0 .00, 0 0.009 similarity. As compared to the rating vector of C A and the rating vector of C that is a minus 0.59. So in this case we have said that similarity of A and B is greater than the similarity of A and C. Okay. So hence in the centered cosine similarity we have to get the different answer that the similarity between the A and B is greater than the similarity between the A and C. Okay. So this is called the uh, centered cosine similarity. Okay, so this is all about the uh, cosine center, uh, cosine similarity.